government always has uh, this reputation of not being uh, at the cutting edge of technology and not being willing to experiment. Are they able to, in fact, keep up with, with what citizens are demanding from government? Underlying that is also is should governments keep up with citizen expectations? Because, of course, a citizen expectation of a consumer company is quite different from what a, a government would be providing. You know, mm -hmm. you can't choose, as a, as a company, you can choose your customers. A government, you know, doesn't quite have that same That's ability. So, so really, you know, can government keep up? I think absolutely. Some of the best innovations that are happening around the world and in various areas at scale are happening in a government environment. And the innovations really matter there because they're not startups, they're actually being deployed at scale. And that's a completely different. There is also a question of, you know, how quickly should governments um, deploy new technologies? And I think that's something to be quite careful about. So while there are many experiments inside government to look at new technologies and stay at the bleeding edge, there is obviously a massive impact in terms of soci you know, society when you do implement new technologies. And I think there is an, an element of just waiting until technologies are yeah. mature yeah. and have been proven and the kinks have been worked out before you take it in. As a society, we're reaching quite quickly a point where we will have some fairly big decisions to make that will either move us consistently down a path of technology being our friend, technology helping our lives, improving our lives, or if we don't handle it right, we could end up in a situation where the technology uh, or the downsides are not managed. And there is you know, large amounts of unemployment, large amounts of reduction in um, revenue take from, from uh, four countries. And I think that um, crossroads mm -hmm. is coming quite quickly, um, where you know, I hope that what we're doing with events like Innovation 2019 is putting a lot of those choices on the table and helping governments in, in every country to recognize the role they play uh, in the choices that have to be made. So coming back to 2000 Innovation 2019 and where we will have government officials coming from all around the world to share experiences. What is it that you're looking forward to from, from an event like that? If we could connect and share ideas, we'll all end up in a better place. Mm -hmm. I think that's what something like um, Innovation 2019 will do for us. It'll connect a lot of good ideas, a lot of great speakers. We've got John Manzoni, we've got Kevin Cunnington from the Government Digital Service, excellent speakers who are doing some really cutting edge things. Uh, but also governments from other, uh, other countries. Mm -hmm. And I think being able to share that puts everybody in a better space and allows everybody to move towards, uh, I think, uh, the kind of government and governance um, that is beneficial for society.